We're grinding the seats in the head today. You probably can't see it. There's a nice three-angle valve job in there. And these are the intakes. And you gotta be 60 thousandths wide is all on the intake. You can't do that by eye. You've got to use a jeweler's eyepiece to be able to see that. This head's different than anything Cat builds now. As you can see, there's an intake port for every intake valve on them. And they're quite large. So you've got intake here and intake here. Whereas on a C15 or a 3406, because of the way they're built, you'd have intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust. So your intake could only have one hole. It'd have to come in through here, across and over into here. Okay, we've just cut with the 60 degree one. I don't know if you can see that. You can see the shiny part, which is the old contact surface. And then you see the duller one that I've just cut. I'm going to take a 30 degree and sit on top here and cut Okay, this. now we've done the 30. Let's see if this works. You can see the two angles. You can see the, the 60 and the 30. And you can see a little bit of the shiny 45 left over here. We're going to go ahead and put the 45 in now. Okay, there's the finished seat. You're looking through the jeweler's eyepiece here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the three angles. It's only 60 thousandths of an inch wide, that seat. And you'll notice on this head, since it's a double overhead cam, the valves are canted and they're tipping in. And so you've almost got almost a hemispherical shape in here. That's why when they mill the head, this black never comes off because this is dished down in. Because in order to run double overhead cams, You've got to cant the valves to get enough room up there to do it, up on the top side. We've got the liners installed, and we use an H-bar across here to push them, hold them down in, and then we put these bolts with washers on the flanges to hold them there because there's a ceiling band right here, a rubber one, and you've got to put 30, or well, just engine oil on it right before you install it, and that engine oil makes that ceiling band expand in there and you don't want these liners coming back up and they will because the o-rings in the bottom uh, when they go down in there's a lot of tension on them they want to come back up about oh i'd say maybe less than a quarter of an inch and you run the risk of getting some junk under the liner here and then those ceiling bands coming out and then when you go back in it'll want to rip those bands so if we put these on here and hold them down for a day or two, uh, I think they'll stay put. That's what you get for doing your parenting skills. You got your fingers in there, do you, Taylor? Yeah. You, don't, you need to hold down on the compressor too, because it'll jump up as you go down through with the piston. The compressor. Yeah, hold her flat. Give it a shove. Go, buddy, go. A wooden hammer handle. Two by four. Shouldn't need it. it. Yep. Awesome. I don't like the hammer method. You tend to break rings doing that. You know what I mean? So that number is on the other side, right? Well, I've got the pistons all in. Pretty, pretty. Look at all that money.
Got a nice crack in this valve seat. Don't know whether you can see that. But I would have never noticed this if I hadn't been using a jeweler's eyepiece, an eye loop, to check my work and my seat width. Well, we've cleaned up the bores in here after we welded a washer inside of those seats. It's kind of funny, you just run a bead around them and they come out pretty easy. They've cooled off now and the holes are cleaned up. They just fall in now. We'll get new ones. Well, I got uh, one new seat put in. I heated the head up with a space heater good and warm and then put these seats in the freezer and the first one I tried to do I forgot that these valves are canted and I didn't hold my installing tool far enough over and so one side came up and it broke it and I only ordered two of them this is the first time I've ever put seats in myself so, this is how you learn to be a mechanic. Make mistakes. There went $10 down the drain. But, we'll get a couple more just in case and we'll get it done. I've been cutting this one and I've just about got it done. Well, I've been gone for a week down to beautiful San Antonio, Texas. So, Jake put the head on while I was gone. He's got it all on. We've got a new spacer plate on the between the head and the block. These are the exhaust ports. And you can see this is the the new seats down in there. This is number six. And you can kind of see now how the cam drive works. There'll be a drive shaft come through here and go into the exhaust cam. He's got the pre cups installed and the fuel nozzles and the glow plugs. And here's the intake side. 